Hello there guys, this is Fleep. Uh, today I thought I'd release a quick tutorial, very quick tutorial on DLL injection. So all we're going to do in this tutorial is um, I'm going to show you how to inject uh, a DLL into a game. So there won't be any code involved, so it's just simple stuff from, um, from uh, running an injector, running the game, injecting that uh, DLL into the game and having your hack run. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because um, recently I've been quite into releasing my own hacks again and um, there's quite a few uh, new people that don't know how to inject hacks, which is fine, what none of us knew in the first place. And um, after you've done it a couple of times, you realize it's quite, quite straightforward, quite easy. So I'm going to do this as hopefully as a global sort of video that I can always direct people to or we can direct each other to so that um, new people won't have to keep asking this question they'll be quite straightforwardly pointed to the right place so um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, run the game that I want to inject uh, the DLL into so I'm going to run this game windowed mode uh, now you can run this game or any other game now the examples that I'm giving technically apply to absolutely every single hack that gets released and is a DLL but I'm mo mostly targeting it at my own hacks that I that I've coded and I know that work. So, should I move this for a second, and that's fine. And so, the idea behind this is, so I'm going to run my injector. Um, so, first of all, I d the injector that I recommend in this example is uh, this remote DLL injection is ab absolutely brilliant. You can find a link for it in the description. It's free. It's done by a proper company and it works very well. So not to mention that it's got a really good interface. So um, obviously I'm not plugging it because I have nothing to do with this company. Just joking. They send me tons of money every year. No, I'm joking. So um, this uh, is a great program to do the injection with. You can use anything else. So if you're new, I recommend you use this or just look online for a DLL injector and make sure you download it from a proper site uh, that um, that to ensure that it's a safe one and it's not going to give you crap on your computer. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit. So this is a good example. I tend to use this one these days. You can also use Cheat Engine to 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 um, inject memory. So I'm going to show you quickly how Cheat Engine would do it. Uh, so I'm just going to put that, put this on the side for now, and then I'll show you how it's done on Cheat Engine. So for those of you, I know a majority of you guys have Cheat Engine, and I can show you how you do that. Although I think it's point, sort of pointless to get Cheat Engine just to to uh, inject a DLL. So that's sort sort of useless. So this game here is just an example. You can use absolutely any game you like. Um, so uh, this is one of the hacks that I did very recently. Um, depending on when you watch this, I guess. So. Um, First thing you want to do, so you have the DLL here, first thing you want to do is you want to go hover that over to there, boom. There's your DLL name, fine. You then want to click here to select your target process. So like I said, you can use any uh, DLL injector you like. <clears throat> we select Curse of Blackwater, which is our target game that we want, and then we've got everything. And all we need to do now is click Inject DLL. Now I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, uh, as you can see here, all we needed was a DLL injector, the game that we want to inject, in, inject into, and the DLL itself. Now, most of my hacks that I release are going to be DLLs. The reason for that is because it makes life easier and they all work really well uh, with the game. That way you can do a lot more things and you have much more freedom with the hacks. But sometimes uh, these hacks, these DLLs, will be flagged up by antivirus as viruses. Now, the reason for that, well, there are many reasons for that, but the main reason for that is because technically a hack is often a virus. So what this is doing is this is going into the game and modifying memory. So it's saying instead of, for example, decreasing my lantern, increase it, blah, blah, etc. So what it's doing is technically known as malicious stuff and Normally, your antivirus will think, oh, maybe this wants to do something bad to my computer, whereas all that it wants to do is modify the memory in the game. So technically, it does what a virus does, but it does nothing but target the, the, the game that we want. So you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Uh, I know most of you um, guys that have been in, in the hacking sort of community for a while, you know this stuff by default, but I like to tell you newbies that uh, this is generally safe. Now, obviously, if you don't trust my, my work, that's absolutely fine, but I've released uh, pretty much, I don't know, at least over 100 um, releases, which many people are happy with. But <clears throat> again, that's your choice. Um, the next steps 
Uh, so you've done everything and then you just want to go inject the LL. Now, what I generally recommend is uh, that you wait and don't go on the game until that DL is injected. Now, depending on what, what I'm releasing or whatever hack you're using, uh, you may, you know, you may have a little bit longer to wait. Now, this hack isn't my most efficient, although it does quite a few things at once. That's why it's a bit of a slow one to inject. Um, so I wait generally 30 or so seconds. It depends on the injector as well. Some injectors are much faster. So uh, it should be injecting the hack right now. And let's just wait a second. So in theory, um, almost every hack that I release will be able to. You'll be able to do it like this. For example, um, the good thing about this remote DL program as well is because it comes uh, in both 64-bit and 32-bit. For so every now and then, there may be a game that will be hacked in 64-bit. If you download a copy of my Outlast hack, that had to be used in 64-bit. There you go, that beautiful. And Outlast had to be used in 64-bit, whereas uh, the majority of games need a 32-bit injector. Now, you won't find many 64-bit injectors out there, so this is why this is also quite a good um, injector. So, as you can see there, the hack's been released, and I can do all my normal functions the same, and I can fly, etc. This is just an example of this hack. If you want to download it, go through my videos, just look for the Curse of Blackwater, and you'll find this hack. This is an indie horror game, which is pretty cool stuff. I'm not going to go over it too much. So, that's pretty much all you have to do for that. You inject the DLL, once you're happy with that, you can close that. The DLL becomes part of the program, so you don't have to worry about it. If you wanted to inject through Cheat Engine, you select the game here, open, go into Memory View, so ignore everything that's happening there, click on Tools, Inject DLL, and then you choose your DLL. So here's an example. All you do is you, you click that, boom. Do you want to execute the function? Uh, I say yes, no. I click close because I don't actually want to inject it again because I already got it and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do with the majority of my hopefully I haven't crashed anything uh, yeah fuck each engine yeah um, so that's pretty much all you have to do for that um, I may crash the program now because I think cheat engine injected anyway so hopefully I haven't injected on top of uh, DLL already there but um, that was pretty straightforward, guys. Hopefully, oh shit, yeah. I injected two DLs on top of it. Don't worry about that. All you have to do is just one. Um, but ignore that for now. That's fine. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be able to do DLL injection from now on. And, uh, yeah, I hope that goes well. Any problems, post them in the description. Hopefully, me or someone else can help you out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy the hack.